What are you cooking? What are Tata cooking? Mohamed Kudos to Arsenal? As a right wing cover? Damn. Who says no? Who says no? Who out of you guys says no to Mohamed Kudos? Let me know. Here we go. Yes, 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 people. How's everybody doing? This is a quick little update on, on everything going on around Arsenal. Reportedly, Arsenal are eyeing a move for kudos. Yes, this is the first. They need to sell some players. But after that, kudos versatility is known to be an attractive proposition to the Arsenal recruitment staff, as reported by Samuel McBell. And he also reports that some of those players that could be sold are the likes of Kieran Tierney, the likes of Thomas Partey, the likes of Nicolas Pepe, of course, talking about the potential outgoings. Also, Balogun potentially could be an outgoing player in this situation also. But we also get into some other conversations. We talk about, he, he speaks about Thomas Partey and he says, Arsenal are not, uh, uh, are not eager to sell Partey. Only huge offer will make them change their mind. At this moment in time, Thomas Partey is not like, it's not like we're trying our best to sell him. It's just if you get a huge offer or not. In other, in other news, reports have come out that Premier League Chief Medical Officer Mark Gillett is a candidate for Arsenal's uh, new medical, uh, medical team head as Gary uh, has left to join Manchester United. And this is just a big report that came out from Samuel McBell earlier today, about four hours ago. So yeah, once again, let me just repeat it again. Arsenal are heavily interested in uh, Mohamed Kudos, of course, the Ajax midfielder slash forward. They're currently still focusing on outgoing transfers like the likes of Pepe, Kieran Tierney, potentially, even, Mohamed, uh, even Mo, um, uh, what do you call it, Thomas Partey could potentially be sold. It does seem like Cedric has his has his days numbered and set Albert Sambi Lokonga. Now we have also found the search for our new doctor. That is another thing right there. But the main but the main thing today is that of course everyone is still talking about the kit launch and, and everyone has their, their their conversations around the kit launch. But I find it more interesting this Mohammed Kudos situation. Edu could be cooking. First he got rice, timber, havertz. Now he could be getting kudos also. These are the kind of level raisers that we've been asking for. And the thing about this guy is uh, he can play as a midfielder, but as a forward, his, his percentiles are out of this world, out of this world. And I just want to let you guys know how good Mohamed Kudos is. Like, this is a guy who's killing it for Ghana in the World Cup. The one thing is there is going to be the potential of a situation where he could, he could be going for... Uh, he could be going for AFCON in the middle of the season, and that would be Thomas Partey and him potentially both going for the Ghana national team. But we'll worry about that when we get across that situation. At this moment in time, this was his numbers last season, 11 goals and three assists. And don't forget, he can also play as a left eight, and he, he can also play as, uh, as an attacking midfielder. So the, he allows us to have that versatility as somebody who can play on the wing and in the midfield. Now, if you guys don't know, Team News Ticks, Team News Ticks had this to say. One second, let me just go to it. If you guys don't know Team News Ticks by now, Team News Ticks is one of the biggest tier ones when it comes to Arsenal and just uh, team uses and everything around uh, around reports. And Team News Ticks was speaking about the fact that where is it? Let me see. He said he tweeted it out earlier today. Something about, um, it was about a couple hours ago, I think. Let me just check replies. He replied to somebody and said, yeah. So kudos confirmed then. Uh, second choice right now. So kudos is the second choice right winger. Interesting. Not saying it will happen before the world goes mad. So he's not saying that it will happen. But of course, he is saying that it is a possibility. Euro expert uh, Adrian Buzz on TalkSport. Kudos is a developer. Is a de is a player, develop, developing player, and hasn't 
played a lot at Ajax due to his injuries and his knee injury, but that doesn't go away. And he can play in an attacking midfield and as a striker, and he is a good uh, uh, good season. He will be a good squad player. Could He could be Arsenal's second choice. We never know. We'll have to wait and see where things go with that. But at this moment in time, that's just been a quick little update. Let me know what you guys think. Mohamed Kudos to Arsenal. Would you guys take him, yes or no? Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. And who says no? Mohamed Kudos, I think he's a quality player. And from everything that I've been seeing, everyone has just been saying 100% they'll take him. And in, in other news, um, I was on Brandon Shore earlier today, and it was it was – Let's say it was funny to say the least what happened on Brendan Shaw earlier. It's the fact that you are the disgusting cancer in this fucking fan base. Because you accept mediocrity and failure. Hmm. I, I, I want to ask you, Egal, because I've watched you many, many, many times with Lee Gunner and everything like that, right? Hmm. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Because you are not a true Arsenal fan. And what makes you dictate no, who's a true fan right. and who's not a true fan? No, no, no. What, no, what no, gives you, no, what gives no, you the no, right to dictate who's a true fan and who's not a true fan? Just educate me on that. What what gives you that right? Because I have, I, I have the right. What gives I you have, that right? Of course I have the right. Explosive. Um, explosive debate between me and some of these guys on Brendan's channel. If you guys want to go check it out, go check it out. True Gunner TV. I'll put the link in the description. Of course, I might do a full reaction to that maybe another day. But at this moment in time, I just wanted to let you guys know. I'm going to be also be going on Hussein's channel. So if you guys want to check that out, please do check that out. This has been a quick little update about Mohamed Kudos. Let me know if you guys think he's a quality player or not. Let me know what you guys think about everything. And yeah, I deal with stuff like that every day whenever I go on panels. So I'm used to it by now. But yeah, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Love for the love, people. You already know what it is. Oh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button. Come on, people.